The Mongol Empire The Mongol Empire was a massive empire founded by Genghis Khan in the early 13th century. It became the largest contiguous empire in history, spanning Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. Known for their skilled horseback warfare, the Mongols conquered vast territories, fostering trade, cultural exchange, and religious tolerance. After Genghis Khan's death, his descendants continued expanding the empire. However, internal conflicts and external pressures eventually led to the empire's fragmentation in the late 14th century. The Roman Empire The Roman Empire, originating in 27 BCE, was a powerful ancient state centered around Rome. It expanded through military conquests and became a hub of culture, law, and engineering. Notable emperors include Augustus, Nero, and Marcus Aurelius. The empire faced decline due to economic issues, invasions, and internal strife, leading to its eventual fall in 476 CE, marking the end of ancient Rome. The Russian Empire the Russian Empire was a vast historical state that existed from the late 17th century until the Russian Revolution in 1917. It began with the reign of Peter the Great and expanded to become one of the largest empires covering Eastern Europe, Northern Asia, and Alaska. The empire played a significant role in European geopolitics and global affairs. It went through periods of modernization and cultural growth, but faced internal challenges and eventual collapse during the revolutions of 1917, leading to the establishment of the Soviet Union. The Qing Dynasty The Qing Dynasty was the last imperial dynasty in China, ruling from 1644 to 1912. It was established by the Manchu people after they overthrew the Ming Dynasty. The Qing Dynasty expanded China's territory, reaching its greatest extent under Emperor Kangxi and Qianlong. However, internal issues including corruption and resistance to foreign influence contributed to its decline. The dynasty faced challenges like the Opium Wars and the Taiping Rebellion, and in 1912, the Qing Dynasty fell with the establishment of the Republic of China. The Rashidun Caliphate The Rashidun Caliphate was the first Islamic caliphate, spanning from 632 to 661 AD. It was founded after Prophet Muhammad's death, with the first four caliphs, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali leading successively. The caliphate rapidly expanded, conquering significant territories, including the Byzantine and Sasanian empires. It is known for its early Islamic conquests, codification of laws, and the compilation of the Quran, and the Rashidun Caliphate laid the foundation for the Islamic Golden Age. The Spanish Empire The Spanish Empire was a major global power from the late 15th to the 19th century, with its peak during the 16th and 17th centuries. Spain's exploration and conquests led to an empire that spanned the Americas, parts of Asia, Africa, and the Pacific. Famous for figures like Christopher Columbus and Hernán Cortés, Spain amassed wealth from colonies through activities like gold and silver mining. However, internal issues, conflicts, and changing global dynamics contributed to the decline of the empire, marked by the loss of territories and influence over time. The Second French Colonial Empire the Second French Colonial Empire refers to France's overseas possessions from the mid-19th century to the mid-20th century. It included territories in Africa, Asia, the Caribbean, and the Pacific. France expanded its empire during the scramble for Africa and established colonies in Southeast Asia. Notable possessions included French Indochina, Algeria, and various Pacific islands. The empire faced challenges during World War II and eventually underwent decolonization in the mid-20th century, as many territories gained independence. The Ming Dynasty The Ming Dynasty ruled China from 1368 to 1644. It was established by Emperor Hongwu and is known for its stability, economic prosperity, and cultural achievements. Also, the Great Wall of China was rebuilt during this time. And the Ming Dynasty is also famous for its maritime expeditions led by Zheng He. However, internal strife, economic issues, and external threats contributed to its decline, leading to the establishment of the Qing Dynasty in 1644. The German Colonial Empire The German Colonial Empire, established in the late 19th century, included territories in Africa, Asia, and the Pacific, marking Germany's late entry into imperial competition. Notable colonies were German East Africa, German Southwest Africa, and Samoa. Facing challenges during World War I, Germany lost its colonies as part of the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. This marked the end of its colonial ventures, with former territories distributed among the Allied powers. And of course, after years, the Austrian painter appeared. The British Empire The British Empire was a vast historical empire that existed from the 16th to the mid-20th century. It originated with overseas exploration, trade, and colonization by England. And at its height, the empire spanned continents, including territories in North America, Africa, Asia, the Caribbean, and the Pacific. 
The British Empire played a significant role in global history, shaping cultures, economies, and political systems. But over time, decolonization led to the empire's decline, with many former colonies gaining independence. The Tibetan Empire The Tibetan Empire existed from the 7th to 9th century in Central Asia. Founded by Songtsen Gampo, it expanded into parts of China and Central Asia. The empire was influential in the spread of Buddhism, particularly under rulers like Songtsen Gampo and his wives. Internal strife and external pressures led to its decline by the 9th century, and Tibet entered a period of fragmentation until the rise of the Sakya and later the Dalai Lama-led regimes. The Tang Dynasty The Tang Dynasty, ruling China from 618 to 907 AD, was a prosperous era known for cultural achievements and economic growth. Under leaders like Emperor Taizong and Empress Wu Zetian, the dynasty expanded territory along the Silk Road and embraced Buddhism. Advances in poetry, art, and technology flourished, including the invention of woodblock printing. However, internal rebellions and external pressures led to its decline and eventual fall in the early 10th century. The Empire of Japan The Empire of Japan existed from the late 19th century to the end of World War II in 1945. It was a constitutional monarchy with an emperor as the symbolic figurehead and a government led by elected officials. Japan rapidly modernized during the Meiji Restoration, becoming an industrial and military power. In the 20th century, Japan engaged in imperial expansion, leading to conflicts like the Russo-Japanese War, and Japan played a significant role in World War II, surrendering in 1945 after atomic bombings. Post-war, Japan adopted a constitutional monarchy, embracing democracy, and renouncing military aggression in its 1947 constitution. The Umayyad Caliphate the Umayyad Caliphate was an early Islamic empire that existed from 661 to 750 CE. It was established after the assassination of Ali, the fourth caliph, and had its capital in Damascus. The Umayyads expanded their rule across the Middle East, North Africa, and Spain, creating a vast empire. Known for architectural achievements like the Dome of the Rock, the Caliphate faced internal strife, particularly the rivalry between the Umayyad and Abbasid factions and the Abbasids eventually overthrew the Umayyads, leading to the end of their caliphate. The Macedonian Empire The Macedonian Empire, led by Alexander the Great, existed from 336 to 323 BCE. Alexander, a skilled military commander, rapidly conquered a vast empire stretching from Greece to Egypt, Persia, and parts of India. His conquests spread Hellenistic culture and knowledge, but after Alexander's death, his empire fragmented into smaller states led by his generals, marking the end of the Macedonian Empire. The Golden Horde Khanate The Golden Horde Khanate was a Mongol state in Eastern Europe, existing from the mid-13th to the late 14th century. Established by Batu Khan, a grandson of Genghis Khan, it controlled territories spanning from the Volga River to the Carpathian Mountains. The Golden Horde had a significant impact on the region's politics, trade, and culture. It gradually weakened due to internal strife and external pressures, leading to its decline by the end of the 14th century.